Prepper0003 here today with another SHTF video for you and this one is a and this is a firearms generated one as you can see from the title but this is shotguns for SHTF now there's a lot of different types of shotguns that you can get from your pumps your semi-autos your single shots all the way up to your semi-auto like your Benelli M2s M4s and Sega 12s so I'm not going to cover the different types of shotguns for the most part but I'm going to cover the idea of having a shotgun as your main primary firearm for SHTF. So right now, the best thing that you can have with a shotgun is versatility. Now what do I mean by that? You can get a whole bunch of different types of loads for a shotgun, for whether it be for hunting, as your bird loads, or you have your self-defense loads like your double-op buck. So there's a variety of different calibers you can get as well. So that's one huge thing you get with the with the um, shotgun is that you have a large variety of ammunition to use with said shotgun. You also have the non-lethal option if you are wanting to use non-lethal for defense. Now I don't advise that myself, but it is a option out there if that is the way you want to go about it. Now then there is a, another option that you can get. You can also get inserts. Like say you have a single shot and you um, use up all of your 12 gauge and you have a lot of 9mm for self defense for your pistol, you can pop in that insert and now you can be shooting 9mm out of your shotgun. It might not be the most accurate thing in the world depending on the insert, but then again, you do have that option. Now another versatility you can get, and I'm just going to use my Remington 870 here, is as you see right here, this is generally, um, as I have it set up, is more of a fighting shotgun. Well, I can change out the barrel to a nice 28 inch rifled barrel and now I have it as more of a hunting barrel. And the nice thing about that is you don't need any special tools or anything. You can just take off the end cap, pull off, the, depending on how you have your shotgun set up. But for the most part, it's very easy. It's just moving the end cap, moving the barrel, pop a new barrel on, putting it on your choke tube cap, and you're good to go. Now you have a, a new barrel. Now you just have to make sure your, your shotgun is patterning um, well, depending on which barrel you put on it. You have to experiment a little bit on how they pick pattern depending on the difference in change in barrel, but that is an option that you have. You can easily change out barrels. So that is just another great asset that comes into it and being versatile with that shotgun. Now into the moving away from that is, is into the more on the usage. Now I would definitely say that if you are going to get a shotgun that you might want to look at your purpose of use. Now if you're um, in, in an isolated area where you have 500 yards of complete um, encirclement around your property of straight open plain land and you're on the top of the hill, a shotgun might, might not be the best thing as your primary. You might want to use something as a DMR or a bolt action um, or semi-automatic precision rifle, if you will. But alas, I'm going to not go off on a tangent. I'm just going to say that you might want to look at the purpose, as I said before. Now I see it as being a very good option for those of you that are in a more urban environment where you might have to use your shotgun very close, right, in a very close range. Um, now, as well as that, is that depends on the legality. Shotguns are pretty much, pump, well, your standard pump shotgun like this A70 here is pretty much, um, for the most part, depending on the accessories, is legal in all 50 states, which is a great asset for you that might live in places like California and New York, where a standard AR-15 and 15, AR-15 magazine is illegal because you can hold the same amount of rounds in this as you can in New, a New York standard magazine, like, well, a New York legal AR-15 magazine. And now I'm going to, because I don't want to, I want to kind of keep it a little bit short, as I said before, is I'm going to go on to gear. Now you might want to have to practice training with your gear and everything because if you're designating it and going to be doing pocket reloads with your shotgun, then you might really want to work with doing pocket reloads because those pocket reloads can become very difficult especially with the rounds aren't going to be in the same place every time. So one time you might pull out the round, the brass is facing this this way and all of a sudden the next round you pull out the brass is facing back at you. So like I said it comes into training. Now I would definitely suggest if you're going to run a shotgun as your primary get a shotgun oriented kit like this one right here. 
And the nice thing about th this kit right here is, is that I can have, like say for example, self-defense loads right here, pop it down, pull this out, and set it up, and now I have slug loads. So, or I could have bird loads, whatever have you. So that's just another option is that with the versatility of it, is you can hold different rounds and have it set up be, to be differently. And then that comes into different chokes as well, but I'm not an expert on shotgun chokes because there's a lot of variety of those, and I could go on for 30 minutes on the different types of chokes. So just be sure that if you do get a shotgun, practice using it at a multitude of different ranges. Know what your shotgun is capable of. Practice using it in a different, uh, different variety of um, scenarios, as you will. Unload your shotgun, move, keep moving around your house with it. Practice using it in tight and confined spaces. And also maybe practice if you can using it around a vehicle. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with your shotgun. A lot of things your shotgun is capable of. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it and what you guys think of using a shotgun as a primary in an SHTF scenario. Especially as I said with that versatility that comes along with bugging out too. Just because I wanted to cover that. So you could use it for a bug out gun too. So please put your comments down below on what you guys think of a shotgun for your primary SHTF. And what you guys might not, you might disagree with it and think that a, a, sh a shotgun as a primary during SHF is complete bogus. So please, please put down, I'd really look forward to hearing what you guys think as well for a SHTF shotgun. So thank you, have a great day, Prepper 003 out.